What is going on, VP Nation? Welcome to episode 32 of the Dude Perfect Fancast. Yes, and as you can hear, new theme song. Woo-hoo. Yay. Um, yeah, we took a, a few week break. Um, we're coming crazy. back strong. If you haven't heard the last episode, the update episode, go listen to it. Um, but we talked about stuff that we're going to be doing. This episode starts executing on it. So I'm totally hyped. Um, I mean, like one word to describe this episode, we haven't even like fully recorded it, but I'm gonna say splashtastic. This is gonna be a splashtastic episode. Um, you know, cause we got a lot of things. Uh, I'm happy cause I am at, in Maine, you know, living the dream. Uh, kind of like a little vacation, and Noah's happy because uh, the new Millie Bobby Brown movie came out. Wink, wink, throwback. Oh, epi- throwback four. to a year ago. Yeah, episode four. Episode yeah. four. Wow, that was 28 episodes ago. Yeah, that that was a while ago. But, um, oh, wow. yes, so uh, Noah's happy, I'm happy, Um, and hey, guess what? Noah? Yes. We got a new soundboard, or we got Ooh. a soundboard. Yeah, so, let's yeah. go. Yeah, we're, I, if we use those, like, sounds way too much, it's because I'm super happy that we have it. So, I'm yeah. actually going to be using the crap out of those, so be ready for I'm some gonna, yeah, weird noises. Episode. Yeah, yeah, okay. But, um, yeah, so, no, what are we going to be doing this episode? So, we'll be talking about a bunch of DP news, uh, our news, mm-hmm. uh, some, a uh, fan time. Ooh, yeah. what's that? Uh, what's that? discuss it. Yes, new segment. I discuss it. Well. Uh, we'll be going over the behind, some behind the scenes video that came out from Dude Perfect Plus. And yeah. some, and the videos that have came out by Dude Perfect. So, yeah, yeah you know, it's going to be a great episode. And I think this may be the best video. Because it is a megasode. 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 Yeah, and have you, if you haven't heard, uh, the High Five Studios fan cast actually took a break. Um, and you know, we came back with a megasode this week as well. So go check it out after you listen to this episode. Go check out the megasode for that. Because, I mean, if you don't even know what High Five Studios is. You that- need to check them out. That, like the High Five Studios fan cast just got to the next level, just like this podcast will this week. So yeah, um, let's get into some Dude Perfect news. So for the past three weeks, uh, we haven't done DP news. We haven't really done anything. But now we're back. And another thing that is back is football. Football's back. And so, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I, a little music or, I don't know, singing. But, uh, I mean, here at the Dude Perfect Fan Cast, um, we can't go without talking about football. Last year, like exactly a year ago, we made episodes talking about football, like at the start. Yeah. And today we will too. And for the following few weeks um, until maybe something else comes. Uh, you know, wink, wink. But um, yeah. So uh, right now, I or we're from New England. So at least I am following the um Patriots. You know, they got Cam Newton this year, and I mean, hey, they almost won against the Seahawks um a few days ago, um as of this being uploaded. But um, yeah. So. Hey, but then they're one and one, so you know I I'm really happy. That's eleven, Asher. Yeah, hey, 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 one one. Yeah. If you guys um, don't get that, we haven't done an episode on that yet. We, not yet, but um, yeah, and the and the Buccaneers are at one and one. Yeah. So, yeah, hey, um, but yeah, and is there anything else? Any teams that you're following, Noah? Not really, you know. I'm. I think it's because I'm focusing a lot on the podcast and school. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me too. But... I'm just like I have school and then podcast stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely me too. But you know, on Sundays I can um, always 
rely on football to get me through Sunday or whatever. I don't know. Um, and I did watch the uh, Cowboys versus Falcons game this past Sunday. And man, what a comeback from the Cowboys. If you have not watched that, go and like do the uh, like rewatch thing or whatever. Um, if you can, because that, that game, like, you know, Cowboys, you know, that's the, uh, Dude Perfect's team they follow, you know, cause they're in Dallas and I mean, what, what a game. Um, but yeah, so then, uh, Dude Perfect also did fantasy football. Um, it's between, uh, TT, Codes, Cobes, and Corey. Um, Garrett is unfortunately not included for some reason. I don't know why. But they don't have Garrett in it. Um, oh, I, I bet it's because Garrett's either not that big into football, he's not big into fantasy football, mm-hmm. or he just didn't want to do it for some reason. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so, hey, and y'all, Team Kobe fans out there, um, we got a fantasy football dub a few years back. I think it was two years ago. We got a kobe fantasy football win um hoping that another one comes back so i don't know uh i don't know who won last year i don't i probably i'm pretty sure it was cody okay yeah i, was I have a say feeling it was cody. cody i don't know why i just have a feeling that it was yeah well after um, who is your pre who do you predict to win um i think kobe either kobe or Cor- uh cody Kobe I'm guessing it's between Ty and Cody. I don't know. I just have a feeling. I think mm-hmm. Core is going to get out first. Oh, yeah, definitely. And then I think it's going to be close between uh, Ty and Kobe. But Ty uh, will come out just barely on top. And it'll be yeah. between Ty and Coates. Mm-hmm. I think they have another friend, too, that's doing it with him. Yeah, but, yeah. you know. Um, but yeah, and then uh, in other news, Dude Perfect Gaming just released... released Three pieces of merchandise, two t-shirts, one hoodie. They are, like, amazing. They are also splash-tastic. So go and get yourself some. I am thinking about getting the hoodie because that, that hoodie is amazing. Um, but, yeah, uh, and Dude Perfect also uh, made a football tee um, in the new logo. We'll talk about that later, but that's the same uh shirt that cody is wearing in our logo so yeah um so and then so we talked about it last year or not last year we talked about it last episode um and we were actually first to talk about it before dude perfect even talked about it but uh dude perfect just made a new bonus channel named dude perfect plus um last episode we said that it was in our description i unfortunately forgot to put it in our description so this episode, I put it in. It's guaranteed there. Go um, and check out Dude Perfect Plus, uh, their channel or whatever. And I'm pretty sure that it's um, like that you've heard about it because everybody's hearing about it now because Dude Perfect like announced it. But um, if you haven't heard about it or if you haven't subscribed or whatever, go and click the link in the description. Um, Dude Perfect, their wives did a weekend trip, which is really, really funny. I think that's super cool because you don't really hear much or you don't really think much about the Dude Perfect wives and, like, how they are, like, together if they are friends or, you know, stuff like that. But it, it's really, really, like, fun that they had a trip um, just for them. So, yeah, that was cool. Um, that happened a few weeks back. Um, so, yeah. Uh, then, um, let's see, uh, Dallas Stars. So, I mean, the Dallas Stars in, I think, uh, last time was 2000, like, uh, you know, 2000 and zero, uh, they were in the playoffs or, you know, whatever for the Stanley Cup. Pretty sure it's called the Stanley Cup. Yeah, it's called the Stanley Cup. Okay, I'm not really big into hockey, but um, this I it I think it's no, it won't be like done or whatever by the time they were releasing this. But the Dallas Stars 
are playing off against uh, the Tampa Bay Lightning, whatever. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so Dallas Stars um, and the Lightning or the Tampa Lightning. Um, I don't know. I, I think Dallas Stars will get another victory because um, they've had an amazing season. And I'm just super happy, you know, for them. And Dude Perfect also is just, you know, super happy because uh, they're Dallas Stars fans. And, I mean, of course, uh, Tim Bits is just, you know, excited out of his mind. I bet. I think if they win, um, I don't know. They're, they're, I think they're just going to have a full-out just video of them celebrating for the next Dude Perfect video that'd um, be really cool i would in- love that to love to see yeah. that yeah just them um, you know partying having a good time but yeah um so yeah hopefully dallas stars win um and yeah so uh also dude perfect just filmed a battle in pennsylvania by a corn maze so that's fun so another battle is going to be coming out um which i'm hyped for uh in the video, it looked like Cody, like, he put a story, and it, he was, like, looking like he was sneaking or whatever. Um, it would be a good place to do an Airsoft Battle, um, you know, Airsoft Battle 4. That would be a really, really fun place to yeah. do it. Um, but it looks like it's going to be, I by the picture that I saw, maybe a, um, like, a hide-and-seek. Oh yeah, like a hide and seek, or maybe kind of like a fall yeah, yeah. games battle. Yeah, yeah. Which um, hide and seek has already been done by so many other YouTubers. So you know, Dude Perfect's philosophy is do something new, and I don't know if they would do it, but you know. But um, it could have like uh, maybe like hide and seek with like a a twist to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, be searching or looking out for that battle when they are gonna come out with it we're definitely going to be telling you guys in advance when they announce it um so yeah uh and then so let's do just a like a mini review right now um but so dude perfect while they were filming the battle corn maze thing pennsylvania um they did a live stream um about the ring on a string game so where you uh, have like a ring on a string you try to you know t- uh uh okay yeah, yeah, you try to get it into a hook. Um, and so that was a live stream. If you haven't seen it, uh, pause the video, go. Dude Perfect's Instagram page, go see it. Um, but uh, so Ty and Garrett did a first round or whatever. Um, Ty won, and Garrett gave $100 to him. Then uh, Kobe and Ty played another game. Um, the one hundred dollar game, and surprisingly, Kobe won, and he got the one hundred dollars from Gare back. So Ty had zero dollars, and then they did a second game or retaliation or you know whatever, like a uh like twice or whatever. I don't know. Um, and Kobe won that. So I mean, I was I like. It's a live stream, you know, I know. All you Team Ty fans out there, you know, being sad that Ty didn't win. I know that it is a live stream, but Ty did say after that that uh, Kobe should, like, he got his first dub of 2020, and, like, you know, he deserves it. Um, So I, I'm thinking I, I was, you know, that was the excitement when, like, you know, jumping out of your seat, you know, jumping up and down. You know, being all excited for us Team Kobe fans because he won. He won something. So, you know. Isn't even it if- funny you're saying this in September? You're like, he's actually won something. Yeah, I, I, it's sad. But I know. he has been getting podiums for a crazy amount of time. But technically, uh, football battle, he did not get podium. Or, we or, or, he, te- or he tied for podium. Yeah, we'll we'll talk about that later. We're reviewing that later, so you know, stay tuned. But um, yeah. So, uh, you know, in order, you know, let's just rate that live stream. I loved the game. Kobe got that dub. I'm rating it a ten out of ten for that wow. live stream. 
and I saw it, like, I saw the live stream not live, but, like, a few minutes after, so. I know, I always miss the Dude Perfect live streams. Yeah, me too. I miss, I I think, almost every live stream. Yeah. For Mm -hmm. anybody. Mm Mm-hmm. I don't know yeah. why. I don't know how. I just like always miss. It. I'm like, why? I wanted to watch that, mm-hmm. I and mean, you can't watch yeah, it ever again. Mm-hmm. But I like that. I would probably rate it a nine. Nice, nice. Wow, Kobe won. Um, oh, just because yeah. Kobe wins doesn't mean I don't like it. I'm not. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Um, but yeah. So, uh, someone made Dude Perfect a custom chair too. So yeah, that that chair is like looks amazing yeah it does it's like crazy um so yeah that that chair you know 10 out of 10 um also uh as of recording this um yesterday dude perfect flew in their private jet actually i tyler said on his story or whatever he might be just joking it might be just a one-time thing they like hire or like they rented it or something but I mean, a few days ago, Dude Perfect had a private jet. So, I don't know. That's that's kind of funny. Um, but, so, Dude Perfect flew down to Michigan in their private jet to attend a Bass Pro Shop golf tournament. And they actually met Tiger Woods for the first time. Yeah. I was so happy for them when I saw those um, posts and stuff like that. I, I wonder if, like... Uh, Tiger actually like actually knew who they were. I bet. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. But yeah. but that's just crazy. Like I know. I I'm so happy for them. Yeah. That that because yeah they've met Tom Brady. They met Gronk. They've met. I mean. You they've know, met a lot of people that uh, James Harden, yeah. LeBron James, Kobe Bryant. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the, I mean, two of the yeah. Dallas Stars. I don't remember their name. Uh, Ty from the Dallas Stars. Yeah, yeah, and then the other guy. I, the, I, yeah, the other dude. Sorry. Yeah, sorry, Dallas Stars fans. I, we're, I'm, yeah, I'm, we're not from Dallas, so we don't like the. Well, we don't. Well, um, I, I do follow. You know, I do follow the games, but like, I don't, don't really know. Names. Yeah, thing. Um, but yeah. So then, uh, you know, so Tiger, uh, Tiger Woods meant. Met Wagger Toots. No, it's so, Wagger. Wagger Toots. Wagger I, I, Toots. I don't know. I'm, I'm like 100% or like 99.999% sure that Tiger Woods have not has not seen that video, the face-off, but, you know. Hey, but the thing weird. is, we had, I think I would love to see a Tiger Woods versus a Wagger Toots yeah, that face-off. That would be so funny. I Two would of pay. The- Good money to see I would that. pay good money for that too. Yeah, uh, yeah. Literally, that'd be the. That's like, two. That that's two of the best golfer golfers ever oh, going. I mean, yeah, yeah. Just like you know, Wiger's like golf attire just with Tiger, helps him so yeah. much. Yeah. Um, and then in other news, Dude Perfect Plus is now official. Dude Perfect announced it on the new Overtime Eighteen. Um. So yeah, we'll be talking about that more later in the video. But um, yeah, so that's all the Dude Perfect news for the past three weeks. That took a while, but we had a lot. So yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, so now on to the Dude Perfect fan cast news of these past three weeks. So as you guys know, uh, you have probably, hopefully, seen the new logo. Ooh, new logo. Yeah. New logo. As you guys know, we did a vote or a poll. Mm-hmm. With yeah. with new ones that we didn't use any of those. Yeah, we. So the thing is that we, I made like a whole bunch of them. We were like, oh, you know, we'll see. You know, we we're kind of like, oh, um, we have it earlier, so let's just put it out on our Instagram, see what you guys think of them. Uh, you guys overall liked uh one of the designs. It was like a glitch. It was the glitch. Yeah, and I really like that design, too. That might be another logo that we have coming back, like, soon. Uh, we like to, or we would like to change the Dude Perfect fan cast um, logo, like, maybe every year or, ev- like, two times every year. Um, I think one year. Was good. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, yeah. But, oh, we also have a new intro song. Yes, you heard it. Um, yeah, go. Actually, I don't think we've ever talked about this. 
but link in the description if you want to check out uh this the oh, the like intro song or whatever um because we have had that in past or like dating back to i think the first episode back so episode 12 we've featured um in the description at the last thing um like the uh you know we've featured um the youtube video for the uh whatever i don't know um song like for our other theme songs i don't know that was rough you know let's let's just go over and um we have to do it Bruh. see oh my the brother against me you know uh, yeah but what's the other news now uh so guys we are almost at 20 thousand total listens for this podcast yes we are we are at like eighteen thousand about right now so mm-hmm. what did it what is today today is the 23rd this video mm-hmm. is coming out on the 25th so mm-hmm. that would give you about a week to get yeah. two, so two thousand plays in a week and we would get about if you if i did probably not possible but if you guys get us two thousand plays in two weeks. Okay. We will have a special video for you guys. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. We have actually not talked about that. But how about let's just let's just make it a bit like more attainable. Let's just say for three weeks. No, I'm giving okay. them two weeks. I don't know. We'll we'll see. But yeah. So we don't really talk about the analytics much, and we don't really want to, or you know, I don't know. But, um, Asher, yeah, so, I, what? I know our fans, mm-hmm. these guys are savages. They're all savages. Yeah, I know. And I, I, I believe in you guys that you guys can get 2000 plays. In two yeah, years. I never doubted you. I just wanted to make it easier. But, oh, hey, cause you don't have trust in the fans. Ooh, mm-hmm. Asher, no, I, I do. I do. Asher, I think you're becoming the least favorite from saying that. Mm. Just saying. But yeah. So um, I don't know. But yeah. So go, you know, get us. And yeah, I, I'm thinking we do a special bonus, like video slash episode or whatever, and a breaking news thingy that we have to disclose for you guys early, earlier than we would have said. Oh, um, I, okay. I have an idea, but we will talk about that later. Which is me and I. Yeah. But, yeah. um, and, and, wait, wait, and then I just have to say, or whatever, uh, I made, like, a day after the Dude Perfect Plus um, came out, I made an Instagram account for it. I took the handle Dude Perfect Plus, all one word. I took that from Dude Perfect, and I made an Instagram account. So, uh, right now, it's blowing up. It has, like, 100 followers in, like, a week. Um, which is crazy. I, it might be more than a week. I don't. I don't really know. I'm bad at math. But yeah, I mean, it's gotten a, a lot of likes. One post got like over a hundred. Um, I like think. A, I think it's because a lot of people think it's actually like the official Dude Perfect Plus I Instagram. Put, I put fan account. But I know. Still. Maybe you should switch that just for a week to see how much more you get. Yeah, official. I don't know. Um, but yeah, and then. Rick Smith Jr. actually put on his story. I put like a story like, whoa, on a post that he did. He actually featured that and like like mentioned it on in his story, which is cool. Um, and then other news is uh, the Ned Forrester fan page Instagram. Um, I am doing it. It's now not scheduled. So I usually had it like meme Monday, like and then a Ned video on Friday. It's not going to be like that. Um, I'm just going to post whenever I want to. I could go with like a few months without posting like I've did in the past. I might go every day. I don't know. You know, so follow it. And I'm I'm saying good content out of that. Um, and the Dude Perfect Plus Instagram too. I might post every day. I might post like only a few weeks. Well, um, we're going to post way more on the Dude Perfect Fancast because it's two of us right now oh, yeah, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, but those are for the other Instagram accounts. But yeah. And guys, if you guys don't know, we have come back from our break. So that means the new Instagram stuff will be coming to you soon. Well, not soon, yeah, this so. week or ne- next week. 
So yeah. next next week's so we'll uh-huh. have a meme Monday, a creation Wednesday, and a top five Friday. Mm-hmm. So stay yeah. tuned for those. Oh, uh, and maybe when we I don't know maybe we'll do a poll on which one's your favorites. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. But, um. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Um, and yeah. So of course, uh, I think Noah just said it, but um, thumbnail Thursday or. Me Monday. Me Monday. Uh, every other week, I'm going to be posting a creation that I made, Dude Perfect Creation. Next Monday, I made, just like today as of recording this, I made a Dude Perfect Fan Cast Sand Castle, mo- like molded or whatever, after the Dude Perfect Beach Stereotypes Sand Castle. And I'm going to say, no, I actually hasn't seen it yet. Um, but. I'm just going to say, uh, this is, I, I I made it, like, almost to the exact thing. I don't know. Um, but it's good. You do not want to miss that. So next week, I'm going to put it, I'm going to be putting that out. Then after that, every other Monday, I'm going to be putting out a creation that I did. Um, or, actually, or, if you want to be featured, with, if you have a Dude Perfect creation that you made yourself. Yes. Email us or DM us on Instagram. With, mm-hmm. you know, the picture and maybe a little thing about yourself if you want to. But yeah. send us a picture, be like, and then put in the secret code. Mm-hmm. DP and, squad. Uh, yeah, our our uh, email is yes. in the link in the description. We haven't really talked about that either. But yeah, it's so like... The, so Asher, what should the secret code be for them? So we know that they want it featured. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to go out uh, and say uh, Splashtastic. Splash Tastic. Okay, so yeah. if you want your uh, creation to be featured, either email us or DM us on Instagram. Uh, the picture and also Splash Tastic, and you will be featured. If you don't put Splash Tastic, you're gonna have to if you want to be featured. <laughs> but you could you could put the picture and then forget to do Splash Tastic, and then after you put the picture. Like a few days later, or just if you forgot, you can put splash tastic. Yes, once we get that splash tastic, that's when we know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah. So, uh, I think that's all for Dude Perfect news. Um, well, Dude or, Perfect fan uh, cast news. Yes, I think yeah. it is. Um. So yeah. Now let's go on to a new segment, um, called Fan Time. Oh. So, uh, fan time is going to be a segment dedicated for you guys. So you guys send in a, um, like five star reviews on Apple podcasts. You DM us, you email us, you call in on anchor to our show and we will feature you. Um, of course, say in the thing, if you don't want to be featured, uh, we just assume that you want to be, um, so yeah, uh, that's, you know putting that out there but um yeah so we're just gonna go through and talk about a few um no what's the first apple podcast review uh so this is a five-star review from grace underscore kelly well wait, that's that's the second one what's the oh first? the second one is from i'm gonna butcher this name okay, from yeah. jacks access m mom well, yeah he says m mom so oh oh that that's just okay that's what he put yeah. didn't realize yeah. that and yeah mom. thank you jack ask axis that's a cool name i yeah difficult to um, say though and yeah i mean m for mom which is amazing thanks for the five star review the next five star review is from grace underscore kelly three three uh she labeled it dp strong uh she said um, or they said, I love Dude Perfect, and y'all, I feel, are close to my age, and love how you are a tremendous fan like me. Hashtag Team Kobe. Come on, Grace. You're not no, Team Ty? Team, oh. team Kobe forever. Team, team Kobe fans unite. Team Ty fans unite. <laughs> no, there's more Team Kobe fans than Ty fans. I'm, I'm going to say that. Really? I, You're going to yeah. say that? Hmm. Mm-hmm, I am. Um, so, yeah, and then, uh, so then the last thing or whatever is that we have some older call-ins that we forgot to air. 
um, just because I honestly didn't know that they were there. I forgot to check the con box, um, but now I do. Um, but yeah, so um, I just want to go over some cons that we've had. Uh, first one, I'd just like to uh, give a shout out to Samantha. She left a call-in, um, and we really, really liked it. Um, and so yeah, uh, Ava did as well. Um, and then uh, we've aired this. Um, I think on episode like 13 or whatever, but uh, Samuel Chipman did a uh, call-in. Mm-hmm. Uh, really, really nice one, but I, we didn't really talk about it, but thank you. Yeah. Uh, if you're listening, thank you so much. Um, but yeah, we really, really love call-ins, um, and yeah, so if you want to leave us a call-in, then definitely do so, uh, but there is one. So if you've heard our one-year anniversary episode, um. You uh, know that I had the inspiration for doing the Dude Perfect Fancast because of Malachi Munn's uh, Blimey Cow Fancast. And so Malachi Munn, uh, like I called in, you know, young Asher, he was so happy, you know, stuff like that. And he called in to the Blimey Cow Fancast. And so Malachi Munn answered back and here's what he had to say. What's up, Asher from the Dude Perfect fan cast? I just wanted to say, I hope that you had a great day at Lancaster, PA, and I wanted you to let me know if you had a good time today. I just wanted to say thanks for coming over and coming to play a Sky Zone Lancaster in the orange and blue. I hope you had fun. I know I did, too. I had a lot of fun playing with you. I had a lot of fun playing with the entire crew. I just wanted to know if you had a good time. So call back to me, and I hope that you like this rhyme. Hey, hey, I could do this all the time. I hope it's not a crime, because if it was, I'd be fired. Hey. Ooh, I hope you had a good time. Ooh, I hope you liked it. I hope you really liked it. <laughs> oh, also, Tori is here. Say hi, Tori. Hi, who is saying hi to? Asher, it's one of Ashlyn's uh, brothers. Oh, cool. The youngest one, actually. <laughs> Tori's the youngest, too. Wink, 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 wink. <laughs> Guys, I mean, first I have to say, um, like, amazing... Uh, he, he's amazing at rhyming, you know, stuff like that. He came up with that on the spot, pretty sure. Um, so yeah, very, very thankful. But, um, I mean, I mean, just to clarify, this was a year ago, but, um, I mean, just, I'm, I was just super sad, you know, as, as a, as like, you know, I was so happy. Young Asher was, oh, yay. Malachi Mon called back. I listened to that. I was so happy. And then just. My heart was shattered when he said, oh, it's one of, like, Ashlyn's brothers. He confused me with someone else. He confused me with someone else, thinking that I was someone else when I was the Asher who was inspired by his podcast. So, I mean, I just have to, like, no hard feeling feelings against him, you know, stuff like that. Um, but I, you know, just... I was so sad, you know, gosh, um, but yeah, so, uh, yeah, wow, um, so yeah, that's, uh, really all for the Collins, um, I hope you guys liked, uh, that, so for the fan time, that was it, um, and so, uh, every other week, we're gonna be, uh, asking a question, uh, about Dude Perfect, uh, like, whatever, um, and so this week, uh, the question is, whatever, is what's your favorite Dude Perfect videos? So um, in uh, the coming episodes, once we get um, feedback from you guys, uh, we are going to air them or talk about them. So you could either leave a five-star review, uh, email us, call into the show, um, DM us on Instagram. Our Instagram is linked down in the description. Um, and if you want to, uh, you know, you can go and, you know, do, you know, call, Apple Podcast review, email, call in, DM, and uh, you can ask or tell what your favorite Do Perfect videos are, um, which, you know, is amazing. We'd really appreciate it. Um, if you have other feedback, do all of them, like what I just said, review email, call and DM, 
And you could, you know, share some feedback if you like the show, constructive criticism, stuff like that. Um, and we'd really appreciate it. Of course, uh, say in the thing if you don't want to be aired because we just assume that we, you guys like being aired or whatever. But, yeah, so what's your favorite Jude Perfect videos? Contact us. We'd like to hear it. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and then, so that's all for fan time. Hope you liked it. Um, and next week and then uh, in a few weeks we're going to have some more. Um, and it's really fan time is all based around – you guys contacting us and you guys either p- Apple podcast review, email, call in, DM, like any of that. If we don't have any for the, like if for two weeks we don't get any, then we won't do a fan time. So, you know, you guys, you know, it's really kind of like your segment, you know, stuff like that. Um, but now let's go on to a brand new segment. One that we I mean, I'm super excited. Before. Another one. Yeah, another new segment. Noah, you can intro this. So, guys, welcome to Discuss It. Yes. So, Discuss It is going to be where we discuss a dude perfect question or something like that. Uh, we did a Discuss It a while back. Um, who is Panda? You know, stuff like that. And... Um, we really want to do dude perfect questions and stuff like that. If you have like an idea for a discussion that we should do, then definitely uh, contact us. Um, but yeah, so this week's discuss it is going to be why did dude perfect make dude perfect plus? So why did they feel the need to? Will they continue it? And you know, maybe we should talk about some other behind the scenes channels or series that they had already. So. Noah, let's get into it. Okay. So, yeah, uh, but what's your opinion on it? Why did Dude Perfect, why do you think Dude Perfect made Dude Perfect Plus? I, the re- okay, so I think the reason they made DP Plus was, first of all, you know, they have made some, like, behind-the-scenes videos with, you know, Rick Smith Jr., like, they did on his, one on his channel... And all that stuff. And I think they, they've done a couple behind the scenes videos on regular uh, Dude Perfect channel. Mm-hmm. And I just think they kind of want to expand it, you know, kind of maybe for people who want, actually want to know like how much work they put into it, how everything's set up. Well, uh, like us, you know? Yeah. Kind of like us. that. Kind of like just so like people can kind of see what happens on behind the scene and all that mm-hmm. stuff. I don't know. I'm, that's what I think. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I think um, I would say, yeah. I feel like they wanted to another idea that they had um, during quarantine. I feel like they had, oh, maybe we should make a new, you know, behind the scenes channel. Um, the only thing is that uh, will they continue it? Because so they had, I don't know, a lot of behind the scenes stuff or whatever. So uh, going back. They had Dude Perfect TV, so Dude Perfect channel where they had behind the scenes stuff. If you haven't checked it out, go check it out. Dude Perfect TV, um, and they have just like old videos and stuff like that. Um, we will review it on Flashback Friday after we review the regular Dude Perfect videos. But yeah, um, so then uh, the next one that they did was on Whistle Sports uh, YouTube channel. Um, they had a series of behind the scenes and those they did from like 2014 to 2017. Um, and then they discontinued it. Uh, just, I think it was just getting too much and I don't know, but yeah, they did a lot of behind the scenes videos, kind of like dude perfect plus on there. Um, then the next thing that they did was they did the dude perfect squad where, um, every so a, a few a year and a half ago they made the dude perfect squad where dude perfect fans could pay five dollars a month and get um behind the scenes videos and you know fun content um i weekly so a new video every week from them so on top of their other every other week um video so yeah but all of those that i just said they discontinued after only like a few years or you know so yeah um so my question is will they continue dude perfect plus because they've had a bad you know 
the thing of just ending the do perfect behind the scenes channels. So yeah, I don't know. No, what do you think? I think it will not be canceled, and the okay. reason is because. You know, with the DP squad, it was more like extra stuff. Mm -hmm. Like the they scenes. felt compelled to, or they had to. Yeah, and I and I, you know, they were on tour, mm -hmm. so I think it was kind of like a thing to, you know, do that. Oh yeah, we're on tour. Why don't we do a bunch of behind the video behind the scene or uh, extra videos behind the scenes and do all that well, stuff? It, did. it was from uh, January twenty nineteen to like early twenty twenty. But I, I, I think they kind of think we're thinking, like, maybe we could implement this into the tour, too. Mm -hmm. Maybe yeah, that's yeah. just not the one thing, but I think they started it because yeah, of the tour, yeah. too. I don't think maybe if they didn't have the tour, they probably maybe would have not done it. Mm -hmm. I think it was yeah. kind of like they're like, why don't we start in 2019, beginning in 2019? Just have it go all the way th through, and then, like, you know, during the tour, it'll be great. We'll have so much stuff that we can do, all of that stuff. And then after the tour, they're like, what do we do with it now? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And then they were kind of like, okay, we don't really need this anymore. It's just going to be a, more of a hassle. Yeah. So I, I think that's why. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I would agree with you. Um, but And they like felt compelled or whatever because people were paying money. Yeah. To, them to have uh, like content or whatever. Um, and they felt like, oh, if we aren't going to be uploading and saying what we said before and like saying, Oh, we're going to be uploading weekly, then they just like end it. Cause we, they don't want really to want to be taking people's money, yeah. which is definitely really, really good. That's why I'm a fan of dude perfect. Cause they do stuff like that. Um, you know, and they're very considerate. Um, but then on the whistle sports channel, they also did a behind the scenes channel, um, which they really could do like month, or, like, every month, like, they could really expand, but they stopped it. And then Dude Perfect TV, too, so, I and, mean. And I think the reason with, uh, with uh, the behind the scenes for Whistle was kind of, <clears throat> like, not not that Dude Perfect, like, isn't connected with Whistle anymore. I just think kind of, like, Whistle decided not to have it, maybe because it wasn't doing as good as they were hoping it would. Yeah. And it's not making enough revenue where they want to keep it, which is mm -hmm. what I'm thinking. May and I'm guessing that's what happened with maybe the other behind the scenes stuff. It just wasn't doing as well as they needed it to be. Because mm -hmm. if you put twenty thousand dollars into it, let's say, let's say they put twenty thousand dollars into a behind the scenes uh, channel, okay? Mm -hmm. But they're only yeah. making uh, they they put twenty thousand or no, uh, yeah, twenty thousand down for like for that, and they're making let's say. 2000 on an episode or a video that would take them 10 weeks to start making revenue again to actually yeah. start making revenue and you also have to think they had to you know keep editing so they had to pay their editors with that money so yeah you know well, it, it's kind of like if they're not if it's not making enough money to be sufficient why keep it yeah, yeah. and i think uh like i don't think they were spending that much or whatever um that but there is like yeah the editing i don't know if they hired other editors or they had the dp editors edit that um or i think they did but the face off i think but um yeah so uh i yeah and then dude perfect tv uh they started it around like 2010 2011 um when like early early dude perfect and then they uh like continued it until they i think they got bigger till like it was getting hard to do dude perfect and like with their jobs or whatever they talked about in the dude perfect documentary you know um but yeah i think uh you know I, they discontinued it they only posted a, or uploaded a little bit on that um but yeah i don't know uh i have like Noah, I have hope for Dude Perfect Plus. I think it's their first, like, actual, like, bonus channel or whatever, just solely dedicated for bloopers and bonus content. And I think, like, Dude Perfect TV, it was their old one of that, but this is, like, dedicated to that. And I feel like um, 
like they have merch, they have the gaming stream or whatever, but they don't really have much other than uh like dude perfect like the channel or whatever. So I think if they put a good amount of time into this that they, they could really make money and you know, it could be good for them. So and yeah. Probably too that, you know, they have more people that can work on it. Mm-hmm. Now yeah. maybe like maybe they've put people onto that. Maybe they Maybe, maybe the people, I don't know. I'm trying to think of something that they just recently stopped doing. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think. I really can't. Maybe people from the bonus or uh, from DP squad, people who were running that thought of Mm -hmm. DP plus, you know, they stopped doing that. So they went to someplace else and then they were thinking, oh, well now we have people that can actually solely work on this. Mm Mm-hmm. Instead of having people do multiple jobs. Yeah, and I think um, in, like, quarantine or the months that they had just home or whatever, they did think of ideas and, like, they were brainstorming ways to grow or and do stuff. Um, and I think that was one of them. And, you know, they gathered up everything. They started it um, a few weeks ago. Um, also, I feel like because of the Dude Perfect tour, and how good the outcry was. Just, like, fans want more, like, bonus content, and we really, really want bonus content and stuff like that from them, that I feel like that's another way that, like, oh, fans really like us, they want more of this, then maybe we should do more of that, not in, like, a hour-long thing every year, like, you know, something like that, but maybe, like, do just little bonus things because people like that before. Yeah. So, you know, and I personally, I love the bonus videos. Like any bonus dude, perfect videos, like either on others, people's other people's channels, like Rick Smith Jr. He did a bonus video with him and stuff like that. And like, just, you know, the whistle stuff and just any dude, perfect bonus content that we don't get like outside of their channel. I like absolutely love. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, no, is there anything else to say about this? I don't think so. I don't have any more to say, but I definitely mm-hmm. hope it will, because I, uh, I, it's now at three hundred and ninety thousand subscribers right now. So I was, I was the first five hundred. I'm just gonna say that. I me was, too. I was too. Yeah, yeah. I uh, was like the three hundredth and something seventy something. I don't something remember like. exactly, but I, I was at least in the first a thousand. Maybe I was maybe like in like maybe five, maybe like early five hundreds, maybe or late 400 i don't know yeah, but i i subscribed the first video or i well saw i i video. saw it and i was like what the heck is this i was like yeah, me too i was like wait what and like they didn't even say anything in the real video about this yeah and we'll be talking about that later because you know we're gonna be reviewing that their first video on it but yeah i think that's all for discuss it for now um let's take a quick break and we'll be back reviewing five videos from Dude Perfect. Welcome back, everybody. Yay. Clapping. I would like to thank the live studio audience that is with us tonight. Yes, thank you guys for attending. Hey. Sorry, I was trying to do an impression of somebody. But, yeah, so welcome back from that quick break to you guys. It was no break, but to us, it was that small break. Uh, yeah. So we will now be going on to the reviews of the videos mm-hmm. that we missed and the ones yeah. that are, yeah, you guys know. Uh, so the first video is Swimming Pool Stereotypes Behind the Scenes video. Uh, yeah. This video came out September 21st, 2020. Uh, so, Asher, what did you think when you heard about this video? Um, I Because I saw this at the end of the o- overtime video when they said, oh, click this video or whatever. I was the first one to click. I was like, yeah, like they said, okay, click up here, click, you know, I was like, click. But I do have to say, I actually, I watched this before OT18 even came out. Yeah, yeah. I saw it it came up in my feed. I'm like, oh, cool. Mm -hmm. I watched that. Yeah, Yeah, I'm I'm so happy that they did this one. It would have been cool to see a uh, behind the scenes overtime 18 uh, video. Well, I I, I like. The I would thing, want to see the behind the scenes of an overtime because they've never done that before. 
But I, I think what's difficult with an overtime, it's like mm-hmm. a lot of it, it's really difficult to do behind the scenes. Cause well, it's... like, maybe like, like creative, like, oh, like brainstorming, oh, what, what, like segments to do or whatever. Like, I would want to see like any of it. Like, well, they get, I, for and for me and you, definitely we would love to see that. But I think mm-hmm. for like, maybe like a mediocre or like above average fan that loves behind the scenes stuff. I don't think they'd be super interested in it, depending on the person. But I know, and, you know, they. I feel like people who just watch it for that, and they're like, hey, this is boring. Mm-hmm. I don't want to watch it, and then that's why. Maybe. Yeah. And it also would be a little bit difficult to do, since it's very different. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Uh, yeah, but what's yeah. the summary? Uh, so this was the bonus stereotypes and bloopers of pool stereotypes. Uh, so some of the bonus stereotypes were the prank bros, the mm-hmm. pool peer, the pencil diver, more activity guy, more throw guys, more pool chemist, the Instagrammer, and more rage monster. Derek always has a machete with him. Yeah. So I was so happy seeing this. Yes. Um, they had the pool peer or whatever. Um, they had that in... Uh, a TikTok they did um, that, but that was really the only other like behind the scenes thing that they did. Um, I think my favorite out of the ones was the prank bros. Just Derek is so funny. I but I don't know why. I don't. He's just I like really him. funny for some reason. Like I I want Derek to be on and you know, like anything. Just like yeah, I don't know. Wait, I sure I have a I have a question for you. Okay. So, from what you've seen of Derek, do you like Derek or Will better? Oh, I I know I I knew that you were actually gonna ask that. I don't know why, but I knew. Um, honestly, I feel like Will is like just like he knows how to like. I don't know. It's kind of like this, like like you know the guy who is is like unintentionally funny is like like. Derek is just like he's automatically funny and just like whatever he does I find funny in like a good way but then like Will he's just like he knows how to be funny so it's like kind of different categories but just like I mean Will is I don't think any more um an editor of Dude Perfect no I think he's I think he's doing something else now yeah he did come back for Airsoft Battle 3 they didn't they needed a um cameraman you know they needed several so he came back and he well, still yeah with them. they didn't have a falling out which is good no i i think it was kind of like he wanted to go do his own thing mm-hmm. which is good for him he yeah. has a he has a youtube channel if you guys don't know it go it's uh will troy um it's his inst or his youtube channel he's made a few videos on that i subscribe to him i um, but the thing yeah. is i think i like Derek better i i don't know i don't know Oh, you know, I, I really liked Will. I just, I feel like I want to like Derek better. Oh, wow. Okay. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I But all I'm saying is that I want more Derek. But, he, Asher, you haven't answered my question. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I kind of meant it as, like, I like both of them separate ways. I probably couldn't say, as of right now, I couldn't say which one. Is okay, better, if, you, I, if no. you had to meet one of them. I would probably see Derek. Why? So you could, so he could tell Dude Perfect about know. Dude Perfect Fancast? I don't know. I would probably say just because he's, like, new to Dude Perfect. So then, like, I would talk, like, I would ask him, like, how he got involved and stuff like that or whatever. And it'd be fun, kind of like that. Um, and, I don't know, we could have him on the show. That would be fun. That'd be like, cool. I would like to meet Derek. I feel like yeah, he... That would be, that him. would be amazing. Um, but yeah, so... Uh, so... Uh, what was your favorite moment? Oh, you already said your favorite moment of this video. Yeah. Uh, so my favorite moment, there there was a couple. I really, I probably, I probably have to say the, probably the throw guys. That was really funny. Yeah. And like after seeing Dak Prescott having an amazing performance of the Dallas Wait, Cowboys. you know what? I change it. I change it. Oh, really? I'm wow. changing mine to the prank bros. Okay, yeah. Prank bros are just so funny. Just like, like the prank is funny. We only saw a picture of it, which 
when I saw that picture, I was like, I think that's for a video. I'm just like, I was so mad that they didn't include that. Yeah. But, you know. Yeah, but then just like, I loved it, like the great prank or whatever. And just like this solid, just funny ending of like, oh, he gets that a lot and I feel bad for him now. Just like, yeah. so funny. I would yeah. like to see prank bows be kind of like the new, well, not, not new rage monster, but mm-hmm. I think like, there's always a prank bro for everything, I would say. Yeah, me too. Like, they've only had it for beach, for restaurant. Um, I don't know. That's the only But I would that... like to see more prank bros. And I really yeah. wish that was in the video. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, definitely. That would have been really nice. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It, I, I rated that video a 10 out of 10, the, pool, the swimming pool stereotypes. It would have been, it would have, like, I don't, like, I don't know. Just, it would have been better. It would have gone up for me, too. Well, I don't, actually, I don't remember exactly. I think I said 9.5. Yeah, something like that. Nine, it probably would have been, like, a 10 and 10 if some of these were in there. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I love the Instagram routine. Instagram. Yeah. Uh, so, Asher, what was your least favorite moment of this video? <sighs> hmm. This is hard because I loved each one of them. Um. Uh... I, I don't know. I think maybe um the the uh, mm, I don't know. I think the activity guy yeah just was you know it wasn't like it was good, just not as good as the other ones. Just like it felt like it was going on a long time. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Not. But like it wasn't bad. Yeah. But definitely, I would have to agree with you. you no. Know? I think they were just, like, trying too hard, kind of. But the poor chemist, if they put in, like, I love the, just, like, him, like, Garrett with his kids or whatever. That like, was... Trying stuff. That I was, think if they included that, it would have made the, be- the poor chemist a lot better. Yes. Yes, you're like, totally yeah. correct. Mm-hmm, uh, yeah. So what was, what's your ratings of this? Um, I'm just, for this video and, like, for maybe the other dude, perfect plus i'm just gonna have the one overall rating um and i'm just gonna say overall rating for this video is a i'm gonna say just 10 out of 10 i nice. i'm just i love this video so much i love swimming pool stereotypes so much more because of this video yeah um, me too yeah I just like love i it. i i'm i don't know why but this like brings it up to like a new level yeah, definitely. So I would probably have to rate it a 10 out of 10 to. I nice. really enjoyed it. Okay, okay, now on to the next uh, Do Perfect Plus video. So their first one. So it's Airsoft Battle 3 Behind the Scenes video. So this came out August 31st, 2020. Um, so Noah, we kind of talked about this, but what did you think when you saw this video and you saw Do Perfect Plus? Well, so when I first saw the when I first saw this, I was like, "What?" Yeah, I, yeah, I saw definitely. Dude Perfect Plus, and I saw behind the scenes. I'm like, "How could a fan get behind?" Because I thought yeah. Dude Perfect Plus yeah. was like a fan made thing. Yeah, me too. I thought that it was like, oh, some fan or like I thought it was either a fan or just like one of the like the site company or like someone like. Someone connected, like maybe the other filmer or whatever, like had behind the scenes footage and like, but like that was my first thing. And like once I went further into the video, I just got more and more like, excited just because like, like I my mind like at the end of the video, like I was going ballistic because then like I was just so happy that there was a new behind the scenes channel for Dude Perfect. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, so the summary of this video, so, um, it was the behind the scenes of Airsoft Battle 3, uh, Ty found an elk, uh, Cody said that he was the social media manager on the documentary, he was, like, kind of saying that, but then he said that it switched over to hashtag Chad, which we already knew, but, yeah, I don't know, um, then, uh, Will and Derek, I think, like, funniest part of the video will and derek address the similarity um between their names because i mean guys like you you know like if you've done it before or whatever like you guys kind of have to stop 
like thinking that Derek and Will are the same person because I mean the names, I mean they're they're identical, but just like you know, they're they're different people. So yeah, guys. And then uh, Ty wants to have a name for us, so just like an exclusive name. Right now it's the BTSers, but I don't know. Maybe hey guys, another question of the week. Contact us. What do you think the new name should be for us, Dude Perfect Plus fans? Be behind the scenesers, you know? Maybe the the plusers. I don't know. But yeah. Um, so yeah, Noah, what do you think in this video? Um, I don't know. You know, I didn't I wasn't a super big fan of Airsoft Battle Three, as you guys know. Mm-hmm. It just I didn't enjoy it as much as I was I was hoping. I, it was definitely, like, I definitely overhyped it for myself. Yeah. For Airsoft Battle 3, definitely overhyped it. But, you know, I like this. I think this is definitely, mm-hmm. this will definitely bring up my rating for it. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. Because, it, you know, I, I like behind-the-scenes stuff, you know, kind of going to see people joke around. Mm-hmm. It's nice, yeah, when, you know. Like, like, kind of, like, uncut version of just, like, them being, yeah. you know. You know, we kind of get to see the editors talk. Yeah. And all that stuff. I really enjoyed it, yeah. Mm-hmm, definitely. Um, so, yeah, what's your favorite moment of this video? Uh, probably when Will and Derek address the similarity of their names. Yeah, I, I would say me too. That was just so funny that, like, you know, because, of course, like, it's because they look similar or whatever. But just, like, Kobe's just, like, you know, ad-libbing, you know. Oh, it's because of your names or whatever. That was just so funny. Um, but, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then, Noah, what's your least favorite moment of this video? Uh, probably my... Oh, excuse me. Uh, probably my least favorite part... What well, I don't... I don't... No. hmm I don't have one. I probably would say, um... When Ty was, uh, showed off, like, because they were naming, like, oh, where, where do you have, um... Like, where do you have uh, the airsoft battle marks or whatever, or airsoft um, hits or whatever? And, you know, Ty whipped out his guns and you showed us his, you know, guns or whatever, his muscles. And I just didn't like it, you know? You know, I just, no, not team time. But then I think Cody showed everybody his triceps and just that redeemed the move for me. So, yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what's your overall rating for this video? My overall rating for this video is a solid eight point five. Nice, nice. nine. Uh-huh. I'll give it a nine. Yeah, I probably will give it a nine point five just because, like, this is the first video on the Dude Perfect Plus channel. I was so excited when I finished this video. Just like they're making a new behind the scenes channel, and just like I'm just so hyped. Um, but yeah, I, I was just yeah. I think just like that part, like the actual video i'd probably say nine like i like behind the scenes but just like the fact that i was just so excited about it brings up the ratings yeah uh noah what's the next video the next video is is (laughs) i can't talk insane football skills battle Uh, so this video came out on september 7th 2020 uh it has 8.5 million views 400,000 likes and 4.5 thousand dislikes. Uh, yeah. So the song is Ready or Not by Warhol and is sponsored by DraftKings. Yeah, definitely. Uh, great. Woohoo. Yeah, it was first named the greatest football game ever invented, but they decided to not use that name. Yeah. Uh, uh, so I don't know why. Uh, so, Asher, what did you think when you heard about when they said that they were having an insane football skills battle. So I think I talked about this before and other, like, I don't know, before the video came out. Um, I was super excited because the picture that they had was Ty and Cody on the couch. Um, and of course, if you watch the Dude Perfect documentary, you know that it's an old game that Dude Perfect uh, or Ty came up with where, you know, you sit on your, uh, hands, then a football is thrown in between you and your opponent, and you try to catch it. And I mean, I think that game is just brilliant, and I really, really want more of that, you know, kind of stuff. And I was just 
super excited for this video. Nice, nice, nice. When I well, when I first saw the video uh, image from with, when they were sitting on the couch, I was like, "Oh my gosh, that is the old game." Yeah, I was like, "Oh." Wow, I was like, that's so cool that they're, you know, they're bringing it back. Uh -huh. They're Im they're implementing it to a new video. I thought it was really cool. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so round one was uh, Balloon Popper. Uh, yeah. So basically they had many different sized balloons, and they had little tacks on football so they could pop the balloons. Mm -hmm. uh, so Corey had won it. He had won the first round. And Gare yeah. lost. And Gare... Yeah, that it was like a reverse because Gare said that he would stay in, but then Corey would get out. Yeah, but I was super surprised because so on I think what was it like air or uh um episode thirty at the end I was saying that uh Garrett would get a podium he didn't I said I said that Ty was good at was the best had had most experience at football. I didn't really say that he would win. I was definitely thinking that and I just didn't want to say. You know, didn't really want to admit to it. But um and then I said that Cody might win. Wait, did but Kobe. didn't I say that Ty and Cody were gonna be in the finale? I don't think you I'm I, pretty sure I did. I'm pretty sure that you said Ty would win, but I don't know. No, but I'm, I'm not, pretty sure I said Ty and Cody would be in the finale. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I'll go yeah. back and look, and we'll see. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so, and round two was Concrete Shoes Catcher. Mm -hmm. uh, so this was a team battle part, so they became, they were into groups, and since Corey had won the first round, he got to pick his partner, and Corey actually picked Kobe. Which I think, like, I already knew, which is sad going into this, that Ty and Cody would win because they put that Instagram post about it, and I think that lowered the um rating just because like i was kind of sad that they you know said that or put that on because i already knew going into this challenge that they would lose but i was still um this like the balloon popper and concrete shoes ideas just amazing next level ideas or whatever i just loved them yeah yeah i i really enjoyed this round this round was really fun Mm -hmm. But now on to the finale, which was my favorite round. Uh, oh, wait. Is, uh, just, I don't know if you said it, but Ty and Cody won. Yeah, I'll, the twins yeah. lost that job. Yeah, Ty yeah. and Cody won. And mm -hmm. the Twins lost because they aren't as good as football players. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, for the finale, what's the couch cast catcher? So it was the best of nine. So uh, whoever got five. No, yeah, whoever got best of the nine or like more five or more yeah nine. uh so ty won he got five and cody got four that like that ending though the comeback by yeah. Co by cody and then the fifth like the ending like i it like for people they might be like oh that's scripted but i mean it's just like you you can't make that stuff up like it was just so fun and yeah. i was like i was on team cody I'm not that big into Team Ty, uh, but I was on Team Cody, and he almost won. Um, but I'm sad or whatever. I don't think he's had a win in 2020, which is surprising. So, yeah. Who? Are you talking about Cody? Cody, I don't. I think his last win, Cody's last win, was Metal Detector Battle 2. And that was last year. So That was 2018, I think. No, that was that was twenty nineteen. That was last year. That was wow. I thought that was twenty. Wow, man. Yeah. Time flies when you having fun. And I think Corey's last win was the baseball battle. So the, and the I could be wrong football on this. Battle, like, yeah. Don't don't quote me on that. But yeah. Uh, so, yeah, um, I think yeah, you're right. Cody, Cody won. Yeah. Well, or, technically, uh, helicopter battleship battle. Cody. Well, yeah, yeah, but like we're not counting team battles as a solo. Yeah. Okay. But you could yeah. count airsoft. It was battle metal detector too. battle too, I think. What? I'm pretty sure it was metal detector. Wow, that's crazy. That was metal wow. detector battle. Too. And then Corey's was baseball battle. Which, yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah, because yeah, the only winners of 2020 has been Ty and Garrett. 
Yeah, so Kobe won, uh, like, sooner. Kobe has won a battle sooner than uh, Cody and Corey, which is kind of fun. Oh, my know? gosh. That's weird. Uh, team Kobe, baby. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, so, Noah, what's your favorite moment of this video? Uh, it would probably have to be the couch, uh, the finale. Nice. Yeah, I would I would probably have to agree with you on that. I was just so fun. Uh, what was your least favorite moment of this video, Asher? My least favorite moment would, uh, I would probably say when Ty won. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. My yeah. least favorite moment was probably when Garrett lost. Okay. Yeah. I was really hoping Garrett would go on. Well, and, and it was funny how, um, like Garrett had to be the. Um, like the ski or like the football launcher. Yeah. He lost. Um, that was definitely funny. And like how Ty and uh, Cody were just like, like, you know, being rough, you know, rough as in. Um, but yeah, that was definitely funny too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, so, no. uh, so what's your overall rating on this? Wait, so we're going to go oh, through ratings. Creativity, uh, execution, and overall. Yeah, yeah. So creativity. I would give this, so, this video, uh, like, Ty won, you know, which is sad. I'm not, you know, like I said, not that big into Team Ty. But the creativity was next level. I'm going to say probably the most creative battle in all of 2020. I, I absolutely loved the creativeness for this video. Just, like, each round, like, the balloon popper, that was super creative. Loved, like, even just, like, the, like... I love, like, colorful stuff, and just, like, that shot, or, you know, just, I like, I, I don't know, something about that, I just loved that. Then, um, the concrete shoes, again, amazing, like, creativity, next level. Then couch catcher, like, it was good when, like, in 2007, when Ty made that, like, that was really creative, but then, like, them actually using it again was super creative, too. I would just say creativity would probably be a ten. Nice. Yeah, I yeah, I absolutely loved it. Now what about execution? Um, so for the execution, Taiwan um didn't really go to plan as like I like the dude perfect battles to, to go or whatever. I would at least want uh Kobe to be second or uh, I don't know uh a little thing or whatever. Noah, so um. Do you think, and you guys can actually, you know, contact us too if you think this, but do you think the Twins tied for third or tied for fourth? Oh, okay. Well, or technically, like, did one get better than the other? Well, I, would, I wouldn't say, well, like, one of them got third, one of them got fourth because, you know, they were on a team. Yeah. So I would say they probably tied for third. Okay, so Kobe's win is still going on. He's still getting third place. Still podium finish for almost a year. So, yeah, that's surprising. And that's good for us, Team Kobe. But, yeah. Uh, and then, so, yeah, I think execution didn't really go to plan. At least Kobe got, you know, third. But, you know, still, I just, you know, I brought down the rating. I feel like... Um, Maybe like an nine, and then overall an a nine point five, I'd say. So yeah, nice, nice, nice. I you know? thought so. To me, this is one of the most, as you were saying, with the most creative video twenty twenty. I yeah. have to rate it a ten out of ten. Execution, well, most creative battle. In yes, uh, and then the execution, ten out of ten. Nice, yeah. They executed it perfectly. I don't think they're. That I think the rounds were perfect, mm -hmm. perfectly executed. I don't think they really needed to change anything for those. Yeah. Uh, and I would say overall, a ten out of ten. Nice, nice. So yeah. Uh, now on to football skills battle behind the scenes. Yeah. Uh, Wait. Football. Uh, no. Are we still rolling? Uh, yes, we are still rolling. Okay. Good. Good. We don't have. Uh -huh. We have four minutes. If you. Okay. But uh, yeah, just you know. You know, we have to just... You guys will probably hear when we cut. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. 
So this yeah. video came out on September 18th, 2020. So this video came out 11 days after the first video, uh, after the right. real vid came out. Yeah, after Insane Football Skills Battle. Yeah. Um, which, so I, because when Football Skills Battle came out, um, I was super excited and I, like, was, like, after that video, I went and refreshed and refreshed and I wanted to see if the behind the scenes video came out because, like, you know, the Airsoft Battle 3 uh, behind the scenes came out the same time as the other one. And so I was, like, just super excited. But then it just wasn't coming out. And, like, for that whole day, it didn't come out. And then I just forgot about it. And then, so the Friday, so a week and a half, so that Friday after, so that the, it was it, the football, the insane football skills battle came out that Monday. Then it was a week and then a half after that, 11 days after that, the football skills behind the scenes battle came out or yeah. whatever. Um, which I don't know why, like I, it might be like an editing thing, like, oh, they forgot to edit it and upload it or whatever. And it might be like a, like, I think the most possible thing is that like, they pressed the wrong button because the uh, insane football skills battle came out on September 7th. And then so if it came out on September 17th, then they just added a one before it. And I was like, oh, uploading error or something like that. But it came out the 18th, which is still kind of weird. Um, See, so yeah, I don't really know why, uh, but I feel like this behind the scenes video definitely made the real video better. Yeah. But yeah, so what's the summary of the video? Uh, so basically, uh, they basically were saying that they didn't have a name for this until the video was edited. Uh, mm -hmm. Ty did the Michael Jackson lean forward. Yeah. The, you know, the... Well, I actually, when I saw the real video and, like, saw the Conqueror shoes, I was actually, like, really, really wanting them yeah. to lean forward. But yeah. Uh, and then Ty and Gare were saying that if... You watch the BTS video before the real video that mm -hmm. you are a super fan. Yeah. But it was kind of difficult to watch this one before because it came out that 11 days out. after. Yeah, it came out after, but yeah. Um, yeah, I think, uh, what's your favorite moment of the video? Uh, so my favorite moment was probably the Michael Jackson lean forward. Nice. Mine was probably, um, I like the ending with Garrett and just like saying like the Harry Potter like that's like reading a Harry Potter book and knowing that Hermione and you know yeah, love and, yeah. Harry. um no spoilers no spoilers um but yeah and then what's your least favorite moment? uh my least favorite moment was probably I don't know I, yeah. I really don't know. I don't have one. Yeah. I would probably say mine was when uh, Corey said that they looked like buffoons because he shouldn't be mean. Anti-bullying. Yes, anti-bullying. Uh, so, Asher, what? Yeah. Uh, what's your rating for this video? So, my rating for this video, I liked it. Um, just sad that it came out later. But I still really, really like this video. I would probably say um, overall rating would probably be in 9 out of 10. Nice, nice. I, I really like this behind-the-scenes video. It was definitely mm -hmm. a really good behind-the-scenes video. It was super funny, a bunch of funny stuff. I'd probably rate it a 9.5. Nice, yeah. Um, so now on to the last rating or review for this video. Uh, this is a long episode, but this is the last and the newest Dude Perfect video as of right now. This is, uh, one of us had to sleep in a sandy bed over time 18. So this video came out on September uh, 21st, uh, 2018. This has 8 million views as of right now, um, the day that we're recording this. Uh, this has 500,000 likes. Um, 8,000 dislikes, sponsored by Crash Bandicoot 4. Um, so, Noah, what do you think about, uh, or what do you think about this video when you heard about it? Well, when I heard about it, you know, I was like, oh my gosh, Overtime 18, you know, 
where it's going to be so much better than overtime 17. I was like, maybe some, maybe some redemption, a bunch of stuff like that. And I would have to say there was redemption. Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, without like giving away the rating or whatever, or the like initial rating, but I think, um, I was kind of the opposite where I was like, okay, overtime 18, like I, I love overtimes or whatever, but overtime 17, that left me scarred. I don't know. I just, I like honestly hated that video. Um, so I think I was like, okay, they have a chance to redeem themselves with this video, but I wasn't as excited as normal overtime videos, like as n- normal like as I am for overtime videos or whatever. But yeah. Um so the summary of this video or so for the segment. So when I first saw the video or whatever and they went through the segments, I was like, okay, they got me sold on paper this would do good. So the uh summary so the segments are get crafty, name this win that new segment, uh wheel unfortunate and top ten. We already knew what the top 10 was. Um, and then the Get Crafty, we knew that there was one. Um, and we saw Kobe's beforehand. Uh, and then uh, for Real Unfortunate, we knew that unfortunately Ned wasn't going to be in there. And we thought that it was going to be uh, the Bandicoot. Um, but it actually wasn't the Bandicoot, which we'll talk about later. But um, yeah, so I mean, on paper, this would do good. And like stay tuned if we think that we that this actually did good um but yeah so for get crafty so this was pendulum design so uh tyler um so they had pendulum or whatever definitely really really creative idea i haven't really saw the kind of idea for like a big drawing or like painting like this but i feel like they really executed on this well and made cool artwork um at least like the top three did um so uh they like pretty much put a string on a bucket of paint or whatever and just had it spin around which is really really cool so um ty gladly i was super happy you know that ty got fifth on his pendulum design um it hey you know the key is to know when to stop and ty said that and he didn't take that to heart. So, you know, that's kind of... I would um, have to agree with you there. Yeah. Um, I was like, oh my think, gosh, what's he doing? I think maybe, like, for the, the funny factor they did that, like, he did that, I don't know if it was actually, like, him actually thinking that it was going to do good, because if, like, anybody went out and saw it, like, they would say... That is that painting is terrible, you know. Yeah. But yeah, um, so yeah, Ty had fifth. Garrett surprisingly had fourth. I thought that he would get higher. Um, oh, and also Tyler ended his reign. So yeah, he's not in. Uh, he's not the overall champion of Get Crafty anymore. Um, uh, Cody is still um, overall champion of Betcha, but. That's not bad, yeah. So, yeah, Ty's, um, Ty got fifth. I was happy about that. Garrett got fourth, um, which I was surprised. I was really surprised that Kobe got third. I know. I, me too. Even I though I'm not team Kobe, I center. think, in my opinion, Kobe deserved first. Really? Wow. Yes, I do. Mm, yeah, Even I think, though I'm not on his team, I think Sparky was a horrible judge. I, I don't know about horrible. horrible. I would say, like, not the best time for Sparky right there. I think he was a little bit mad from overtime 17, getting kicked off of uh, games with consequences, you know. Yeah, going back to that. But, um, yeah, I would probably have to say that I was really surprised that Kobe got third. Corey, surprisingly, I got second. I did like his painting not as much as Kobe's, but I did like his painting. And then Cody got first. I mean, I could see that. It was either Kobe or Cody. Um, but Cody had a really, really cool design. And um, I think what really would would have put it over the top if they had if you had like a DP logo in the middle of the circle, 
like in the dead center where there was like lack or the empty space in the middle. Yeah. I think if he put the DP, that would just like put it over the top and I would have like absolutely loved that. But yeah, so that was get crafty, um, which I don't know, not the best get crafty, I would say, but still a good one. I really, really like get crafty. That's one of my favorite segments. Um, and Sparky did say, which is kind of funny. So he, Sparky said that, um, like when Ty and Garrett were sat or mad at him, um, he was saying like that he has experience, uh, playing middle, uh, girls in middle school basketball and the parents are brutal. He said, uh, he has experience playing girls basketball. Or I think, I think he meant coaching. I, well, I don't know. I, I'm just saying maybe I, he played in middle school girls basketball. No, I'm pretty sure he coached it. I don't know. I don't know, but I thought that was fine. Um, so, yeah, I think, I mean, quick rating of segment, uh, get crafty, I would probably have to say of 8.5. I would have to rate an 8.5, too. Just, I really thought Kobe should have won. Yeah, Even me though too. I'm not Team Kobe, mm-hmm. I think he deserved it. Yeah. Um, and I think that Ty had a good... Like, he was going good at the, the red on blue. Yeah. Or the blue on red. I, th- I thought that, that was, like, looked amazing, but he just ruined it. Um, and he drilled a hole out of, or on his shirt. So, you know. Yeah. Um, so then the next segment, and a new one at that, is name this, win that. Did I do? Did, I yeah, kind know. of. Um, but yeah, so it was a new segment where... You have to name a picture or say what it is and then win money. I feel like that is definitely YouTuber. Like, the, the like Dude Perfect is kind of like, even with like the like greatest football game ever invented or stuff like that, I feel like they're kind of like shaping into typical YouTubers, sadly, over the course of 2020. Um, but yeah, so I mean... They had a chance to win ten thousand dollars. Wow, shocker! YouTube, woohoo! Um, so yeah, so uh, they had a picture of a bandicoot, and you could get money. You could get ten thousand dollars if you guessed that right. They had a picture, or they had um, the like mascot uh, bandicoot that could go out, and if you got that right, then you'd get a thousand dollars, and then. You wouldn't get anything if you didn't guess both them right or whatever. Um, so uh, he, they had their family and friends play. Um, so let me just list off. So Larry Cotton, uh, the uh, Kobe and Corey's dad, played Joe, which was so surprising. I know. Me. We got to see Joe again. Joe from – he was the uh, mood swing – from uh, movie stereotypes. He was a uh, player coach in basketball stereotypes. Yes, he was the um, happy birthday or whatever uh, from restaurant stereotypes. Yep. Yeah, you know, he got like whatever with food or whatever. Pied and all that um, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I, I loved Joe, and I'm so sad that Joe isn't in the overtimes or like do perfect or uh, stereotypes that much. Um, because I just loved his performance. I want to see more Joe. Hashtag more yeah. Joe. More Joe. More Joe and more Derek. That's that's the big we'll thing. We'll start a hashtag for that. Yeah, yeah, Catch yeah. on yeah, like a wildfire. More Joe. On, um, uh, I know. On the on the new, when this episode comes out on Instagram, you know, we have the new episode alert. We'll have put the hashtag Mo Joe. Yeah, more Joe. No, Mo Joe. Mo Joe. Hashtag Mo yeah. Joe. Um, so Joe made the segment so much uh, better. Or I know. So then uh, Steven, he was uh, actually, um, what? I, I'm i blanking on this. The uh, t- the shirtless he guy was Chad. in Chad. It was Steven. Yep. Um, I finally, so yeah, finally figured it out. Deeper. Yeah. Um, then uh, Lawrence, he was also in a lot of stereotypes with Joe. Um, and his family, which was fun. Um, you also got to see Joe's family. Um, Diane Cotton, so the twins mom, Steve Jones, so uh, Cody's dad, Bethany Tony, 
uh, Tyler's wife, uh, Jonah, the first ever Dude Perfect intern, uh, Connor, uh, Cody's brother, um, Jordan, he's a friend of Dude Perfect, you know, uh, Chase, uh, he's also an, uh, Cody's brother, and he won $1,000. Um, Aubrey Cotton, which is Kobe's wife, and that was super, super funny, where, like, I don't know if Kobe actually told her, like, what it is, like, like, you know, before going into the office, he was like, okay, we're gonna call you up, say whatever, say Bandicoot or whatever, and just try to get money or something like that. Yeah. I mean, that would have been funny, I don't know. I, I feel like if she actually answered right, and, like, it was, like, specifically Kobe told her the answer. Honestly, I feel like that might have been a one game suspension. Oh no, that would have been uh, yeah, definitely. I was like, um, "Oh my gosh, are they going to cancel Kobe?" Yeah, yeah, I don't know. But uh, like she didn't even know. I maybe it was just like a funny thing or she said the wrong thing, but that was really funny. Or maybe or maybe God. they were talking about something else. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh then uh Catherine Cotton to so the Twins uh, sister, and then uh, Brody and Kelsey Smith. So Brody Smith was in uh, the um, um, epic trick shot battles and stuff like that. He was also on Overtime 7. Um, uh, and also, so I, me and my family watched The Amazing Race. Um, and so actually, surprisingly, on uh, season 28 uh, it was like in 2017, I think. Uh, Brody Smith was on. He was in a team for the Amazing Race, which is super super fun. And go watch it if you haven't. Also, Zach King was in it. Um, you know, other creators. It was like a creator Amazing Race. So if you like Amazing Race, go check it out. Brody Smith was in it. Um, and so, yeah, that was funny. And then uh, Jason Belmonte. He was the bowler in Bowling Trick Shots 1 and 2. And he he's from Australia, and he won $10,000 because he guessed it right. And I, I think that's I why, fun. because I am i don't know why I feel like a Bandicoot's more Australian. Well, it's kind of like, say, like, if someone said, like, a, a, a possum or whatever. Like, a, yeah. Oh, this or something like a possum or something like that, which you don't really see that much. But, you know, you kind of know what the name is. Like um, kind of like a like a possum to us is like a bandicoot to Australians maybe. Well, yeah, you like you see them around or whatever, but like you know you don't really know notice the name big or whatever. You just like oh that's that's a possum or something like that, you know. Which is kind of you know cool because here in America you think like everybody around the world knows all the animals. Asher ones, but. But the thing is, bandicoots live in Australia. I just looked it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bandicoots are only from Australia. So, so that's why. Yeah, yeah, you didn't know that? That's it's No, look, yeah. I didn't know exactly where they're from. Okay, yeah. It's the Australian bandicoot. You can only find it in Australia. It's like so, the Australian possum. Mm-hmm, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's all the people who are in it or whatever. Um, and, yeah, so only... so. Lawrence and his family won a thousand dollars. Chase won a thousand dollars, and then uh, Jason uh, won a ten thousand dollars, whatever. Um, so yeah, actually, so Chase actually isn't Cody's brother. It that's a different Chase. It's actually Garrett's brother, Chase. So yeah. Cody and Garrett have the same brother names or whatever no the thing of, is garrett's brother is like garrett but like yeah it, it is kind of because like, like you can same. tell how similar they look but yeah, also yeah. like they're so super different yeah, yeah definitely um which is really really funny um so yeah that uh name this one that uh new segment and i really really enjoyed it uh i would probably write this segment i really really enjoyed it I love seeing like the different people come on it and stuff like that. I would probably rate it a nine. Nice. Uh, a nine, yeah, nine. I, I, you know, I did. I wasn't a big fan of this. I, I would probably have to rate this like a three. 
Oh, wow. I'm really? just kidding. I'm rating him the 10 out of 10 because of Joe. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. We got, we got hashtag bring back Joe. Yeah, bring back Joe. Yeah, I love this. And then, so then the next one, Wheel Unfortunate. Sadly, Ned was on, like, you know, he was gone again. Guys. Which brings up, brings up the fact. Guys, is Ned Forrester dead? He's, he hasn't been in two. The last time that we saw him was actually Overtime 16. So he said that he was related to Joe Exotic. That was the last time. Um, and then the second to last time was the uh, Dude Perfect documentary. So is our beloved Ned Forrester not here? Deceased. Honestly, I feel like this is like, you know, I, I love Ned Forrester. He's like a father figure to me. In times of need, I go to Ned, you know? Um, and he's he hasn't been here. It's been months, months since we got Ned. So, is Ned Forrester dead? <laughs> no, what do you think? Uh, I think Carol Baskin killed him. Wow, you know. I, but the thing is, he is related to Joe Exotic. Yes, he is. He could be eaten. He could have been eaten by a tiger. Yeah, definitely. Wow. Oh my gosh. So, Can't I mean, he's gone. you know, contact us if you think, uh, like, if you have any word on Ned. Um, we try. We're trying to find him. We're trying to track him. We have uh, put out a missing persons <laughs> report. No, I'm just kidding. Yes, definitely. Um, we've been contacting Dude Perfect around the clock. Um, every hour, we just send out a DM or an email to them, uh, just asking them, uh, you know, where's Ned? Because we want to know where our beloved Ned Forrester is. Yes. Um, you know, because, yeah, I mean, honestly, we want Ned. We want Ned. We want, we want Ned. Ned. We want so, yeah. Ned. So get the hashtag, uh, uh, hashtag. Where? Ned back. Ha hashtag Ned. where's Ned? Yeah. Yeah, Nedrick T. Forrester has been amazing. So, yeah, and if you guys don't know, uh, that's his actual real name on his birth certificate. It's actually Nedrick Tyler uh, Forrester. So, yeah, little known fact. Uh, not many people know that. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, so, I mean, guys, is Ned Forrester dead? And I, I think I'm I'm going to read you something that's even sadder. So, um, in this, uh, over time, Jerry said that, um, like, he he said that him and Ned went on a deck or duck hunt that weekend. And he said he went duck hunting. Uh, he They caught beavers instead. Um. They didn't harvest them. They kept them as pets, and then they named them Betty Lou and Betty Sue. Um, so I'm just saying maybe Jerry made that story up to say, oh, Ned's not dead. We I saw him last weekend. Maybe he's making it up. Or it was Jerry who uh, killed Ned. Jerry killed Ned? Guys. Okay. And I Jerry think. said that uh, Ned was on a sabbatical. And if you guys don't know what a sabbatical is, a little new, a little history or word de de definition of the day. Uh, a sabbatical is uh, a period of paid leave granted to a university teacher or other worker for study or travel. Traditionally, one year for every seven years worked. Mm. So. And Ned, one, hasn't been working for seven years. And then two, if that is true, Ned's still alive, just on a sabbatical. We won't see him till May 2021. Next year. Till next May. Guys, I can't go that long without seeing Ned. Neddy boy. Nedrick T. Forrester. 
I don't know. Okay, I think I think that's all the sadness that we're gonna have today because this is a sadness free podcast. But I'm just saying, I I honestly I, I was super sad that Ned wasn't back. Um, at first, I thought that it was uh, that it was going to be um, like the Bandicoot thingy, like yeah. that was gonna be the host, but it wasn't. It was Jerry, which. I mean, Jerry, the only thing, the only problem with the whole video, I feel like, was the Wheel Unfortunate. And I feel like just Jerry was trying so hard to be funny. Like, yeah. he was just overly just, hey, look at me. Try, I'm being funny. Bleh. You know? I think that's just what. Well, I remember it? when Jerry did Wheel Unfortunate the last time in uh, well, well, Overtime yeah. 10. And that was so good. We gave him so much hate for no reason. Yeah, but like, but now we can give him hate because he did a horrible job. Yeah, he honestly did a horrible job. I feel like because he was trying to fill the shoes of Ned, and just like, because like in overtime ten, Ned was there. Yeah. So, but then now Ned isn't there. So he was just trying to be funny and trying to replace Ned. But um, this is the first time. In overtime history, that Ty was not featured on Wheel Unfortunate. On the Wheel Spin portion of Wheel Unfortunate. Which... No, second time. Really? Episode 17. Oh, I don't... Never mind. No. Never mind, I forgot about... Wait, yeah. wh- what was his name again? What? Dale Tweedley? Oh, Dale Tweedley. I forgot his name because yeah. it's just so I, forgettable. I think Dale Tweedley was definitely worse than... Jerry, Definitely. like 10 times worse. Because he's but, super um, forgettable. I totally forgot about his name because that's how much bad he yeah. is. I made I made a meme on Ned Forrester fan page saying, like, you know, Ned and then the overtime 17 and just Dale Tweedley. I, I don't know. It's kind of hard to describe it in audio form. Go check it out. Link in the description. Ned underscore Forrester underscore fan page. But, um, yeah. So, uh, I mean, yeah. So, Jerry was on Wheel Unfortunate. He tried too hard. He was funny at times. He was annoying at times. You know, I just felt like it kind of went on forever. And that was just the worst part of the video. But um, I still think, like, it was... I, I would rather have Ned or Jerry on the show rather than Dale. Yeah. But still, I mean, I just didn't really care for it. I just didn't like it. But at least it wasn't terrible. And, I mean, the punishment was next level. I loved it. Um, so, yeah, so the Wheel Unfortunate, Corey picked for the third time in a row. He picked himself. So, he's, he's like, the last three times that he's picked out of the hat, um, it's been himself. So, and it might honestly be more. I just, like, was thinking, like, oh, three times. Didn't really research it, like, thoroughly. But I, I might be, like confirm that every time that Corey picks it it's him which is super funny it's his seventh time on wheel unfortunate so i don't know seven seven times um so yeah uh um so jerry actually spun the wheel um so this is the second time that the person who was picked didn't spin the wheel because ned spun the wheel in overtime 11 for garrett so now Jerry spun the wheel, but he made it go on uh, sleep in a sandy bed, which is kind of funny. Um, and uh, so if he didn't, so if he just spun it and just left it, it would have gone on eat a Carolina Reaper pepper, probably. which would be so funny. And you and you know what probably happened? They pro- what? I'm pretty I'm pr- in. I think that <laughs> the sleeping in a sandy bed portion, like when they poured it all in. Was pre-recorded. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. Because yeah, so, yeah, why? So, why would they? Right. Because they wouldn't spend two days recording it. Uh huh. That what? would just not work, and that they that wouldn't maximize time. So I think they decided on like, oh, we'll just you know spin it the first time off camera just to see what you get. And then we'll just have the announcer 
change it to whatever to to that. Well, well you know. I think actually I have this is one of the videos that I'm like actually happy on because so I think what they did was so they did the whole thing up to wheel unfortunate. Jerry got like and spun the wheel and it was like later in the day because it was like 2.40 or whatever when they did the spinning wheel thing or whatever. So I'm thinking that they spun the wheel or whatever um, like around maybe like 3.34 and then they spun the wheel and then just went home and then they got the bags because if you see they went back at like 11 or like 10 they actually put the sand in the bed and like yeah had full sleep so i'm pretty sure that they went home got everything ready maybe got the um tractor and the sand and like it was said bye to his wife and helped out with the kids and then went back yeah um, and then they all went back made him like poured the sand made him sleep in it and then go back um so yeah, I think that's how it worked. And, and then, probably real unfortunate was the the last one they recorded for the day. Yeah, and they 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 even recorded the outro before they actually did the wheel unfortunate. The outro for what? The outro for the video. No, no, no. I'm pretty sure that they did top ten, and I like. I mean, they could have changed the outfits or whatever, like right after. Um the thing and just like acted like it but i'm thinking that they actually recorded it the next day that they had Corey sleep overnight and then the next day uh they went they went and um got like new stuff or whatever okay um so yeah i think and like this is like the first time that you actually know what like when the actual times was because like it could be like oh you don't really know if they recorded it all on the same day if there's different portions that was per recorded and stuff like that, which is really, really fun. Like, I really like that. Um, but yeah, so uh, that was real unfortunate. The only thing was that on, in the thumbnail, you can actually see that uh, that it's a different person that's getting sand poured on them, and Ty is wearing a different shirt. Huh. And there's no co Cody in the background. That's so weird. Yeah, which is kind of weird. I don't know why they did that and just, like, get more sand and just do that. But, yeah. So, yeah. Um, so, that's Wheel Unfortunate. Noah, what would you rate Wheel Unfortunate? Uh, I would probably rate Wheel Unfortunate a 7.5. Okay. Yeah, I would probably say, honestly, I wouldn't say least favorite segment i would say second least favorite segment least favorite would probably be get crafty but i would probably say still like a nine just I, it would have been a 10 if ned was there yeah. definitely um and like Corey said it was surprising that he did everything the opposite and then still got picked but yeah um so then top 10 so uh the segment is also called you know ak ty gets hurt for eight minutes, which I pre like, I actually really like, um, cause I'm not a Thai fan or whatever, but yeah. So, uh, here's Ty's. So first to go over whatever Kobe and Corey have never had lucky charms or crunch berries. Did they ever have a childhood? I, I like when they said that I got, I honestly, I got offended. I, my team Kobe, Drop down one level. It's out of one million, but just drop down one level. Just because Kobe's never had my, I think probably my all time favorite cereal is Lucky Charms. Really? And Kobe and Corey have never had it, and Ty removed it from his top 10, which I'm just so sad about. Just like, I love Lucky Charms, and you know, it's not in there. But yeah, so, uh, then so here's top or ties top ten. So uh number ten, frosted mini wheats. I would probably have to say I agree with that. Um maybe a bit higher on my list, but yeah. Then uh fun fetty, he switched that out with like I don't know, some other thing and um uh 
Lucky Charms or whatever. So yeah, and then the next one is Fruity Pebbles, seven Honey Nut Cheerios, six Crunch Berry, five Frosted Flakes, four Reese's Puffs, three Cookie Crisps. I've never had that. Oh, you, you know? need to have them. They're so good. Yeah. Um, and then number two, Cinnamon Coast Toast Crunch. I honestly don't really love it that much. I would probably it would probably be like number nine or whatever. It would be list. like my fifth one. Yeah. Um, and then number one. So I mean, this like he should have had Lucky Charms on there. I feel like maybe like switched it out with. Um, honestly, I don't. I don't like Crunch Berries or. Reese's Puffs, I just, I do not like Dude, either Reese's one of them. Puffs are so so good. switch Lucky Charms with that, and like put at least Lucky Charms in the number four spot. Then the top, the top or nine or whatever would be amazing. Like I am like better, like a better chance of me joining Team Ty in my lifetime. And but then he just had to bring it home. With the number one. And I feel like, so for the past three top tens, it's been okay. Like, movies was definitely not. But, like, okay, you know, like, thing. Or, like, the ten to two is, like, okay stuff. And then just, like, the number one. His number one is just so, just, I don't know. I've, I've had a problem with everyone. Like, Elf is a good movie. I wouldn't say number one movie of all time like definitely not uh a baby bottle pop is definitely not the number one greatest candy in the world and honey o's is i've never had them Me honestly neither. but and i'm just gonna say definitely not number one candy of and the world. but i think i'm pretty sure honey o's are more of a southern thing yeah definitely because i've never uh, seen like, i've never seen honey o's up north yeah um well yeah and actually i was on so on i think it was a deep dude perfect gaming stream uh ty actually said his top uh his all-time favorite uh cereal which was honey O's, and he had him had it like had sparky bring it up and like show a picture of it and i uh, like i totally forgot about that huh until this until he said it but yeah so i actually knew or like the people who saw that live stream knew Ty's number one. So yeah, if I had better memory, then I would have said it. But yeah, um, so yeah, that's Ty's top ten. I would probably say disagree with it more yeah. than agree. Yeah, me um, too. Definitely best top ten. I feel like most agreeable top ten for me, but still. Yeah, just, I don't know. definitely. Um. And I'm so he said last top ten, top ten candies that he's gonna have someone else bring in somebody's like bring in their other uh like another person to do top ten. And this episode they didn't. So and like even when Cody was trying to like point something out, Ty got all mad at him because it's it wasn't his show or whatever, which is definitely sad. So I think um yet again for this episode um, you know, we have to bring out, uh, Dude Perfect, I know that you're not listening. Dude Perfect fans, I know that you are listening. And we have to join together and unite to try to make another person do top 10. Because I honestly am tired and sick of having Ty be doing top 10. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, I think that's all that I have to say about that. Um, yeah, so Noah, what would you rate this top 10? Uh, I would probably rate the, well, creativity. Oh, mm -hmm. top, you mean top 10. Uh, I would probably, yeah. I, it's very, I think it's definitely the most agreeable for me. I'd probably rate mm -hmm. it an 8.5. Nice. I would probably also rate it an 8.5. I like, like, the idea of cereals. I feel like the execution was good, and I like Ty getting hurt. Um, I don't think he had a, like, he broke his wrist, but definitely hurt it, so yeah. Oh, um, and also, I don't think we talked about this, but Cody has a boot on his right leg. Yeah, 
Well, I wait. Was that during? That was yeah. during the PG uh the golf. Yes. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But I don't think I think he got it. He got the sprained ankle before this. Yes, I I don't think it's def- it's not the same thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean honestly, Cody's falling apart. I know. He got scratch. He got now the like he got Lasix. He got his out like shoulder surgery. He got scratched by a cat. Now this like honestly, Cody Jones. Is having a rough 2020, along with pretty much everyone else in the world. But his is definitely worse. So no, yeah. but he also had a difficult 2019 too. Yeah, actually no, because no, Airsoft Battle Two was in. No, yeah, no, you're right. With 2020, yeah, he's having very difficult. A lot of bad stuff yeah. happening, but yeah, a lot of not battle ones. But yeah, so what's your favorite moment of Overtime 18? Uh, probably my favorite moment. Was when when we saw Joe. Yeah. Um. I there's a lot of good moments. I would probably have to say Joe. Just like the initial, like, oh my gosh, like my like other family was like, oh yeah, like they didn't really notice him or whatever. Like, oh yeah, I, you've seen him in some videos, and like my siblings kind of recognized him. But I was like, oh my gosh, we haven't seen him in like so many years, and now you know. he's. I think it was, what, 2015 we saw him last? Yeah, just, I think, um, definitely, like, a stereotype. I'm pretty sure. It was movie theater, I think. Yeah. Well, maybe restaurant. I don't know. But, yeah. Um, yeah, we haven't seen him for a while. And I'm so glad that he's back. And, yeah. But like, he's actually still friends with Dude Perfect, which yeah. is cool. Um, so, yeah, I think it would have been cooler if they had Sean Townsend be on there which if you guys remember sean is the sixth member of deep perfect yeah that that would have been cool too yeah but um yeah i think that's my favorite moment of the video no what's your least favorite uh probably when jerry spun the wheel yeah i would probably say just like like it was funny but just like over overpowering I feel yeah like. like just forced um, but yeah, so no, what's your ratings? Uh, so I would say my, uh, for creativity, you know, there wasn't a Cool Not Cool this week, which was really sad. I, I really like Cool Not Cool. Uh, <laughs> it, it, this was like a, for like, it's like, I feel like when I first watched it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is such a great video. And then like looking back, I'm like, huh, how could this take up like, what, 20 minutes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but so yeah, what for ratings? I would say my rating is probably in uh, 8.5 for creativity. Nice. Uh, mm-hmm. Execution, uh, also an 8.5, and overall an A9. Okay. Um, I think, honestly, this was a huge redemption for Overtime 17. I feel like my, like, my favorite Overtime in 2020, definitely, um, I loved each segment. I don't really like Cool Not Cool that much and have it to have it replaced by like one of the other segments, like uh, name this one that or whatever. I just love so creativity. I would probably have to say a nine, uh, execution a nine, and then overall nine point five. Nice. Uh, yeah, just amazing video. So nice, nice, yeah. Nice. Um. So yeah. So uh, go follow us on Instagram. Noah, the High Five Studios fan cast. Yes, go check out the High Five Studios fan cast megasode, just yeah. like this megasode. Uh, mm-hmm. So go check that out. Uh, link in the description below. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, go mm-hmm. check out the High Five Studios fan cast Instagram, High Five Studios fan cast, uh, all lowercase. So yeah. go check that out. Yeah. Um, and then the new Dude Perfect video that's coming soon. I don't know what the next one is going to be. Hoping it's going to be good. Maybe the battle that they filmed in Pennsylvania. So, yeah. Uh, the next Dude Perfect fan cast video. So, next week we're going to do our favorite Dude Perfect videos part two, which is going to be amazing. And then the week after is going to be Flashback Friday episode one. So, if you don't know about Flashback Friday, go back last episode. We talked about it. So, yeah. Um, I think that's all for this episode. Um, hope you guys liked it. Um, and contact us if you know, of course, you know, email, call in, uh, DM, you know, five-star review, I don't know. So, yeah, uh, 
I think that's all, and mm -hmm. we'll see you in the next one. Go big, Go big. guys, and pound, pound it, it. Noggin. Noggin. See ya. Good night. <laughs>